Welcome to Math Window. A plus B then plus C is equal to three, and A squared then plus B squared then plus C squared is also three. Solve the value of a to the power of 2022, then plus b to the power of 2022, then plus c to the power of 2022. How can I solve it? For dealing with these kind of questions, pay attention to the notes. Two equations about ABC. Usually, if we meet this kind of equations, a squared then plus b squared then plus c squared is equal to three, and here appears a plus c, a plus b then plus c is equal to three. Then, we have to square this equation on the both end sides. So first, square it. Get a square on the both end sides, so we can get a plus b then plus c. Also, the all, all squared is equal to three power two nine. Then we have to use formulas. A plus b then plus c all squared. It is equal to a squared, then plus b squared, then plus c squared, and then plus two times of a b, then plus two times of b c, and then plus two times a c is equal to nine. Because a squared then plus b squared then plus c squared is three, we know it. We all know it. So this is three, and then we can get the value of. Two times a b, then plus two times b c, and then plus two times a c, is equal to nine minus three is six. Then I multiply by two on this equation, both end sides. Two times a squared, then plus two times b squared, then plus two times c squared, is equal to six. This, the first equation. The second equation. Now I'm going to do a wonderful thing to do it. Second equation minus the first equation. Now I'm going to do a wonderful thing. The second equation minus the first equation, because here is two times of a square, so I can spare the a square from these two a squares. And here also I spare a b square from these two times of b squared. Then it can be written as a squared then plus b squared. They are separated from these. Then minus two ab. Hmm. I write it first, and then plus this b squared. So here b squared b squared is two times b squared. I separated the c squared from these two times of c squared. B squared then plus c squared. Here minus two times of b c, and then I plus here it left a squared, and here it left c squared. So a squared then plus c squared, and then minus two times of a c is equal to six minus six is equal to zero. So what's this? And what's this? Oh, here, oh, isn't straight anymore. I think. These three parts, this a squared then plus b squared then minus two a b, it is a minus b all squared. Here, b minus c all squared, then plus here a minus c, then all squared. The sum of them is equal to zero because this this term is a minus b then squared. This term is the square root of b minus c. This is the square root of a minus c. So, I think these three parts are all non-negative. So it is positive or equal to zero. So it's greater or equal to zero, greater or equal to zero, and larger or equal to zero. But the sum of them is zero. So I think. They just can all be zero. They all equal to zero is the only way. So a minus b, a minus b is equal to b minus c is equal to a minus c, and they are all equal to zero. So you can get a is equal to b, and it is equal to c, and they are all equal to one.
a plus b then plus c is equal to 3. So because of this, a is equal to b is equal to c, so they're equal to 1. That's how the one came here. Now, I know the value of a and b and c. So the value, the final answer is 3. Three threes. Lucky.